Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 34 of chapter 4 of Hitch book. Use mass analysis as appropriate to determine the two mass currents, I1 and I2, in the circuit. Okay, we are asked to use mass analysis or we need to use KVL at I1 and I2. Let's do just KVL at I1. And KVL save that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero. Let's start from this 15 volt voltage source. The current is flowing from negative to positive, so the sign will be negative minus, and the value will be 15. And plus this resistance here, so we'll have nine. But nine is resistance. We need to multiply it by current, and the only current that pass through it is I1. And then we move on to this resistor here. It will be 1 ohm. But we need to multiply it by the currents. We concentrate on I1 because now we are working on I1. But here, I2 is flowing to the opposite direction. So I'll have minus I2. And for this voltage source, remember that the current is flowing from negative to positive. So I'll have minus sign here. And the value will be 11. All of that will equal to zero. Now let's do some simple calculation. Minus 15 minus 11 will be minus 26. But we move it to the right hand side. So I will have 26 here. Now we'll have 10 plus 1. That will 9 plus 1 I mean. So I'll have 10 I1. Okay let's write it here. 10 I1. And then the only I2 here is just 1 multiplied by minus 1. So I will have minus I2. And nothing more that we can do. So let's just save it as equation number. Okay, now let's do another KVL. KVL. So I'll have KVL at I2. Again, the sum of voltage will equal to 0. Now let's start from this 11 volt voltage source. But here the current is flowing from positive to negative. So I will have positive sign and that will be 11. Okay, now plus this 1 ohm resistor. But now we are working on I2, so write I2 first. And I1 is flowing to the opposite direction. So we'll have minus I1 and then plus this one that will be 9 multiplied by the currents the only current that pass through it is i2 so i have i2 and then this voltage source here which is 21 but the current is flowing from negative to positive so i will have minus and all of that will equal to zero now let's do some math here 11 minus 20 21 is minus 10 yeah minus 10 but we move it to the right hand side so we'll have 10 and the only i1 that i have here is just minus i1 right and for i2 i will have 1 plus 9 that will be 10 2 and let's have this as equation number 2 write this as a matrix and then plug it in to calculate so i will have this one will be 10 and minus 1 this one will be minus 1 and 10. And this will multiply it by I1. This will multiply it by I2. And all of that will result into 26 and 10. Now let's plug it into calculator. Get I1 and I2. Okay, now let's set up it and use the equation. We need two variables, which is number one. And then let's do 10 minus 1 and then 26. Okay, and then I will have minus 1 and then 10 and then 10. So for the x value, this is for I1. So I will have I1 is 2.73 ampere. I1 is 2.73 ampere and for I2 what do I have? I have 1.27 1.27 ampere 
So, this is the final answer of the problem. Hopefully, I did not make any mistakes in the calculation. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.